What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now at the moment, I am in Germany at Gamescom, sitting in my hotel room. I'm probably the worst internet connection I have ever had. Literally as bad as 1.4 megabyte download and upload. But over the past few days, we've had some great new info drop uh, by Bungie, including a lot from their recent stream, as well as the VDoc, which is a must watch by the way, and that is linked in that video description. What I want to talk about in today's video are some of the things we saw within that VDoc which are really interesting including exotics and much more. Now before we start, may I ask you guys if you do enjoy the video if you could leave a like that would be absolutely epic. The support you guys have shown me within these dry times of destiny is unreal and it's much appreciated. Okay, so let's start. Well, actually, let me first mention that it's fucking happening, people. It's actually fucking happening. Private matches, absolutely epic. And the fun we're going to be able to have will be unreal. I've actually seen and played through some private matches of Supremacy, which I might upload, as well as an amazing clutch with the galley and a new strike coming with the Rise of Iron. So stay tuned for them. But let's just start. Okay, I first want to mention the ornaments and the change they bring to weapons in terms of design. Now, throughout the VDOC, we saw plenty of footage of the Monte Carlo, which was in gold. You guys can see that on screen now, and it looks pretty fucking badass. But within the VDOC, we also saw an ornament being applied to this weapon which turned it red and black, which again looks amazing. I can confirm that there are over 20 different ornaments for our exotics and legendary gear sets, so expect to see some pretty epic things. We also saw ornaments being applied to the Hawk Moon, one that's got like a blood splatter on the nose of the gun, and the other applies golden feathers to what I think is a matte black collab body, which looks fucking epic. We also see ornaments being applied to the new heavy called the Nemesis Star, which we actually got a brief glimpse of this thing in action. Not much to go on though, we see it being sprayed from the hip. I'm guessing this is on purpose, as it looks like its exotic perk has something to do with range, and it's either activated by or not by aiming down sights. That's what I think anyway. The two ornaments we see, we see this red version which looks beat up, and we also see this kind of beat up grey version as well. Moving on, now many people are thinking this is an exotic. I've seen a few videos stating this and it very well could be, but I don't really want to make them calls right now as I don't know that much. But for sure, it is a raid weapon, that's undeniable. What's interesting about this weapon is its precision kills kind of release like wolf pack rounds, and as crazy as that sounds, it seriously does. Look when it's slowed down. I remember seeing in a Game Informer article them mentioning a weapon which precision kills release a kind of cloud of SIVA energy. Is this what they meant? I mean it looks ruthless on how fast it targets nearby enemies. Pretty damn interesting. I will add I have asked a Bungie employee about this while here in Gamescom and he said it was a mechanic to the SIVA splicer dregs heads being blown off. Yet when I played the new strike, this shit wasn't happening for me, so whatever it is, we will find out soon. Moving on, now we all know about the return of the Vostov, if that's how you pronounce this damn weapon. The very first weapon you pick up within the game when you start your journey as a guardian, and we also know it's coming back as an exotic. Interestingly though, the very first weapon we see in the VDoc is this Vostov, but weirdly it seems to have the Rasputin logo on the side as well as white markings on the back. Is this an ornament? For me, it doesn't quite do enough for what ornaments are supposed to do. So what is it? I have no idea, but it's definitely the Vostov weapon, and it's definitely got the Rasputin marking on the side, and there's definitely the exotic Vostov we've seen numerous times in videos, in trailers, which does not have this marking on it. I mean, at first, I didn't actually think it was the Vostov, but you can see the crack in the lens, which kind of gives it away. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Is this a different version? Is it just a reskin? Who knows? Now a lot of people think the weapon seen on screen now is an ornament applied to the Vostov. For me, this weapon looks a lot like the new Iron Banner weapons design. For sure its design is certainly reminiscent, but I could be wrong, but it's just what I think. Because if you check out the Iron Banner sidearm seen on screen now, look at the Iron Banner shotgun, and even this image of the Iron Banner rocket launcher. Their designs are extremely similar, badass though, and it's good to see Iron Banner weapons having their unique design. Now do you guys remember the Game Informer article mentioning that they saw an exotic sidearm reminiscent of the Robocop gun? I think we see that very weapon within the VDoc seen on the screen now. It is a three burst sidearm, but to be really clear, it's hard due to how little footage we actually got of the weapon. 
but for me this is definitely the new exotic sidearm okay last but definitely not least check out this beast this i believe may just be a new exotic sniper rifle now we did see this a little within the view dock also but again it does look very similar to them iron banner weapons so that's indeed what it could be and not an exotic this whole new set of iron banner weapons are really unique within themselves like i mentioned before but this thing doesn't have the iron banner logo on the side of it like most other iron banner weapons we've seen but still that does not mean it isn't an iron banner weapon now within the VDOC we do see this thing on the back of the hunter in an array of scenes but we also see it in action seen on screen now not much to go on though to be honest but the scope and its border do look very very unique to what we would see on an exotic but who knows not many people at this time do now also within the VDOC we see an array of amazing gear from raid gear to iron banner gear to trials of osiris gear all looking fresh we also see some gear once ornaments have been applied to them and damn they look fucking epic we do know that ornaments are unlocked for certain gear in very limited ways for example trials of osiris ornaments i believe are only available from the lighthouse chest so you will have to go flawless to get ornaments on your trials gear while raid ornaments are available from challenge mode within the wrath of the machine and i'm guessing iron lord gear ornaments will also have their very own challenge but for sure guys check out the video doc which is linked in the video description if you missed it it's definitely worth eight minutes of your time now i hope you guys enjoyed the video i have a few more videos to come which i have recorded in gamescom so stay tuned for them but like i said internet is absolutely terrible and this video will probably take me about eight hours to upload and i'm not even joking so it might be a little late and this info may be a little old but i apologize for that but i do hope you enjoyed the video and i will catch you on that next one peace out until next time peace